Welcome to your uh, weekly tea leaf reading here with Red Earth Goddess. Um, this tea leaf reading will be for the week of uh, July 24 until July 30th, 2016. I have here my favorite cup <laughs> of owls, my power animal. Um, the owl spirit animal is cuts through illusions and sees the truth of the matter, the heart of the matter, does not fall for um, anything that which is not internally intended, if that makes any sense. So on top of that, we got here in the background a ram with a Nazar amulet to protect us from the evil eye. And so let's get the reading started. The first thing I did notice um, when I did, you know, complete drinking the tea and which, you know, which this is basically very, very symbolic of, you know, the visions and, and, and the clairvoyance of that, you know, I've been gifted with. The very first symbol that I did particularly see and come across was the swastika. okay? The swastika is actually... An ancient Indo-European uh, symbol. Um, it was passed over also into the Celtic, particularly uh, the Celtic culture, particularly uh, the goddess um, Brigitte, Saint Brigitte, who was passed over into Christianity because of her power and her nobility and her uh, what she did for the people and for you know the people in the area and things of that nature. A very fiery, very very fiery, passionate spirit person and it feels as though there are groups of people in Europe I'm seeing particularly Europe literally particularly Europe that are bringing the ancient ways back okay so in the beginning of this year of 2016 I did make um, a yearly um, psychic reading intuitive reading about what's happening and what's going to happen um, so if you would like to, you can go back and watch that. But particularly, I did see Europe playing a very big role. Europe is the root, uh, sorry, excuse me, North America is the root chakra uh, of the world. But Europe is the heart chakra of the world, all right? The heart, the balancer of the rest of the chakra systems, the rest of the geometrical, uh, symbolic, energetic grid that is keeping the people, the universe and the planet and the energies on Earth. Okay, everybody's feeling it regardless. So there are small groups of people doing this and it looks like it's, it's very much working out for them. Okay, I do see this continuing up into 2017, let alone this week. But I did see that symbol very first thing. Okay, so if you are feeling a calling to understand more of what the swastika true symbol is, you know, you can do research about it. It has nothing to do with Hitler. Hitler, all these modern, um, even Christianity, for example, okay? It's very, the cross is very modern with Christianity. The cross was always around and it, you know, it always was a symbol of north, south, east, west, the directions, okay, on earth. So the swastika is very symbol, sim similar in that manner. Um, I'm also seeing that that swastika symbol is actually bringing two different people into a perfect alignment with each other. Now, you can see that as a divine masculine and feminine within your own DNA helix. Uh, but I'm actually seeing two people that are being called, literally, um, this is more than just a romantic feeling or something like that. I'm literally seeing and feeling two people coming together for a certain cause Two people coming together in order to accomplish something for this group, uh, in order to bring two groups together and to incorporate things so that they can bring it to the masses, so that they can leave something behind, so that they can help the people. Because I do see that this is not necessarily, you know, a twisted intentional, um, you know, the owl is speaking. It's not a twisted intentional group of people. They're here for the people. They're here to help the people and they will do the best of their abilities to do so. You have to also know and remember that humans are humans they're going to make mistakes they're going to come across you're going to come across humans that come you know say that they're exceptionally righteous and they they mess up and that's how humans are we're going to mess up okay you may see for example somebody who who is a monk and they may smoke they may eat mcdonald's once in a while 
it, it shouldn't be according to the, the, the ways, but you will see it happen once in a while. And if you don't, it does still happen, okay? There are monks that do some severe dark, dark magic. I've actually bumped into, um, I've met with them and they were completely honest with me and they told, like, I've, they didn't come out and just say, oh, you know, Talar, I've done some mad dark magic and I learned this in the temples, in the Buddhist temples, but they did try to do, you know, um, transferring of energy with myself and to kind of trick me into believing what they're doing, but I'm able to detect. This is my body. This is my energy field. I'm able to see and feel what someone's intention is towards me, for an example, and I cannot control another's intention towards myself or my group of people or anything of that nature, but... I can work towards making what they're doing for me, against me, against my group, working for the better of myself and my group, if that makes any sense, okay? So I, I don't really usually like to word use the word control, but in a sense, it's a form of control. It's steering the direction in which supports me and the people that I'm doing this with as a whole, okay? It's like it's like the dark and the light and the sun and the moon coming together. It's going to cut it's going to friction, you know? It's going to hit each other. But in the end, you got to know how to handle yourself. You got to know what works for you, what doesn't work for you, and you never know what these people may able to teach you. Okay? It's always the ones you least expect. It's always the ones you always believe have the worst intentions towards you that are able to teach you about yourself about your abilities and what it is you're here to do about your your life, okay? That's important. No, remember that. Remember those words, okay? Um I'm seeing a dragonfly. There's there's a symbol right here. You know that on the dragonfly there's the body and then it's got the wings and stuff. Beautiful beautiful dragonfly right here, okay? Dragonflies are symbolic, yes, of transformation. They're very um, beautiful. I mean, there's dragonflies that are black and white. There's dragonflies that have blue and green, like this emerald green color. And it's like a twinkling shades. It's beautiful, beautiful shades. Um, and depending, if, you, if you've come across and seen a dragonfly this week, um, do take notes, okay? Uh, remember how you're feeling. Uh, because you're, the entire week you're going to be feeling that feeling that you did when you sensed that dragonfly around you. And if you don't feel anything, pay attention to what you're going to be receiving. Pay attention to what you're going to be hearing. Also look up dragonfly spirit message. Because these are all symbolic messages of, of everything that, you know, coincides. And, and things that are trying to come and speak through for you to you. Okay. Um, very mystical um you know it's in the name dragon fly so you know the and fairies it's very symbolic here's i have a little cute little red dragon here <laughs> it's not a dragon fly it's a little cute dragon this was actually uh from the hedge witch and um it was just sitting there and i grabbed it so and the owners there, they're pretty awesome. The two sisters, Diana and Donna. They have um, Celtic origins themselves. Awesome sisters. So, you know, my red dragon's right here, present. Don't piss him off, because he's fiery. He'll blow your face down. He'll blow your horns down. Okay, guys, I'm just being playful, all right? <laughs> just being playful, not threatening. Anyways, is there a dragon spirit message? I should look into that. Anyways, so look into the dragonfly. And, and ever since I started this YouTube channel, I, I always talk about butterflies and dragonflies because they're very symbolic for people that work with nature. If you've got a green thumb, if you like planting things, if you like working with earth, um, flowers, trees, usually your totem, um, you know, even if you're, if you're connected to the spiritual realm, for example, connected to the spirit, the auric field, and it's also scientific. You don't have to believe in just spirit or energy per se, but there is a scientific aura around, the science can confirm it, around plants, around animals, around ourselves, around trees, uh, okay? 
So you can look it up, you can find it. And uh, for those of you who feel that connection and have a green thumb, you know, there's men and women who connect with me. Um, <clears throat> we speak here and there. They're even some of my clients, you know, they're gardeners, um, you know, they're in construction, um, landscapers, you know, and they, they feel like they've switched from building homes to doing landscaping because they feel that that's their calling. They'd rather get their hands dirty. They'd rather make, you know, work with the earth. It grounds them. It's earth. It's, it's, it's great, you know, um, environmentalists as well. That's, that's huge. I, I. If I was to ever go back to school, I'd probably be an environmentalist. Honestly, no joke. So, <clears throat> you know, things like that. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, I'm also seeing a seahorse, okay? If you have one wish, think of that wish this on this day during this week. Write that wish down, okay? Write that wish down. Take the paper out once you write that wish down. Fold it into four pieces. So for example, let's grab this right here. Okay. Let's just say you write, let's just say you write something here. This is your wish. So I'm going to ask that you fold it. So that's two. Just keep folding it. Make it look like a cubics. All right. Fold it. So make sure that there's four corners. Look at that. It's a little home. <laughs> Maybe that's your wish. And look, there's a tree here, you know, in a village. Maybe that's your wish. So if you're watching this and your wish is to move, to have a home, uh, to feel a community, if you want to be part of anything at all, okay? Cross it up. If you have any form of essential oils, okay? If you have any essential oils, if you work with essential oils, and if you don't, you could get cologne or perfume, spray it, or if you have the essential oil, put a dab into your hand while you make that wish because it's your hand. There's chakras in your hands, okay, that work with your energy body because you want to be able to set intentions that it's coming from you so it comes back to you, the, the wish, okay? Put it on, especially on the four corners, seal it in the middle, make your wish, okay? And you can either put it into a little container and go near a river, or even if you don't have access to a river or a lake or a pond or whatever, you can go in the shower, you can go in the sink and put it under the water and visually bring in that intention that it's being sent out to the world and that it's returning back to you, okay? Um, you can put in a little bit of herbs. If you've got some tea leaves, you can put that in there. Um, you know, you can put in anything, flower herbs, um, leaves. If you have roses around, you can put the leaves, the dropped leaves in there. But set those intentions because it's going to come for you. It's going to come to you and it's going to come for you, Okay. If you'd like, you can even tie a ribbon in there to seal it. It's all about how you like to work with yourself, okay? And then spray the um, perfume or cologne or the um, essential oil around you, okay? So if you've got the essential oil, I'm going to ask that you, you make a mark. Make sure you're doing the eight. So what I, I use the eight, the eight symbol. So like the symbol of Vinana, the story of Vinana, because it's, it's the energy body, the energy, the four corners on the energy realm and the four corners of the earth. It's all the directions, okay? So do it on your third eye. You could possibly do it in the air if you like, on your chest, under your feet, on your wrists and your hands. Lock it, the intention. Align with what you've been sending out to the world, okay? And if you're using perfume or cologne, spray it in all the directions, okay? North, south, east, west. And seal the flippin' deal. And then seal your aura. Bring in that crystalline white energy, okay? To lock and to seal the intentions into your energy body, okay? So I'm going to end this reading right now um, with a little note that I found. And since I found this little fortune cookie little note, it doesn't have any numbers in the back. It's got French writing. But it is for somebody that feels this calling right now, okay? And that is, someone is interested in you. Keep your eyes open. Because you never know. You may 
find that person here or you may move into this beautiful